Good morning, interwebs. It is 12.28. I'm up. I'm dressed. I took a shower. And I'm actually starting to work on the next segment of my cogitation. And it's already feeling smooshy and wonderful. <sighs> what have I done today? Oh, I listened to a good podcast this morning. I like to give you podcast recommendations of non-yarny podcasts that I like to stick in my ears. This is a uh, audio podcast. And it's called The Unmade Podcast. It is by Brady Heron and Tim... I don't remember his last name. But Brady Heron is one half of the uh, Hello Internet podcast team. And he also has a bajillion, like literally, <laughs> not literally, but you know. He actually, I think, has like 25 plus educational YouTube channels. So... I mean, in terms of educational YouTube channels, that's like a bajillion, right? Anyways, that is also irrelevant is what that is. But um, Brady and Tim have been friends since childhood, and they make this podcast called The Unmade Podcast, where they talk about ideas for podcasts. Like, you could have a podcast where people do this, or you could have a podcast where people do that. And they go through and they talk about a few of them, and they kind of try and flesh them out, think of names sometimes, and all this stuff. And they're always very enjoyable to listen to. I think there's like 10 or 11 episodes. They make them like once a month-ish. Um, and if you're somebody who's into like accents, I don't care one way or the other, but both of them are Australian. And uh, Brady is Australian living in London, so he... Uh, has a different sort of twinge on the voice. So if that's something you like, maybe you'd want to check that out. They had a funny, funny thing on the last episode I listened to. They were talking about tattoos. And uh, they are talking about people who get, um, like, Chinese symbols and that sort of thing. And <laughs> they were talking about doing tattoos that are um, things that won't, like, age poorly, right? Um, and so he was like, well, I've loved honey prawns since I was a kid. I want the tattoo of the uh the symbol for honey prawns on the menu from his favorite Chinese food restaurant which I just thought was really funny I guess they've made a shirt or something now that has the honey prawns logo on it um but it's just an amusing thought like I actually think that things like that would make for more meaningful tattoos so I don't know I know people have very strong opinions one way or the other on tattoos um which you know personal choice and such. I really, like, I have a couple that I would like to get. One that I intend to get fairly shortly here, actually. I just need to find somewhere that I'm comfortable doing it. So, the first one I want is not very big or anything, but it needs to be done right or I'm going to be real upset. So, I guess that's true of every tattoo, but some slightly more than others. So, anyways... I'm going to go work on this a little bit more because I am taking Penelope to the vet at 115 because she has eaten all her fur off again. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're just trying to figure that out. So, I don't know what they're going to figure out this time. I keep telling her, Penelope, why can't you handle your anxiety and be more normal? And Steve just looks at me and I'm like, I recognize. Hello, pot. I am kettle. Like, I'm aware. <laughs> But I don't eat my fur off. Usually. Usually. Okay. Off to work on this. Oh, and drink my coffee. Today I'm drinking my coffee out of my Kansas is my happy place mug. And this is some more um, hazelnut cream coffee that Steve so kindly bought me at the grocery store the other day. Because we were running out of coffee. And I was sad. And I was going to be grumpy soon. Because today it has a little bit of sugar and a little bit of whole milk in it. And somebody had asked me, it may have been in my other videos, but anyway, somebody asked me what kind of tea I drink. I drink, like, I don't drink fancy tea. <laughs> Not because I'm opposed to fancy tea. I just don't have access to fancy tea. And I'm kind of opposed to paying for fancy tea because of the amount of tea I consume. Um, I drink mostly, um, like, plain black tea, like orange pico pico black, the nice cut black tea that comes in your standard, like Lipton, but I actually tend to prefer generic to Lipton. Um, and then right now, I'm actually mostly drinking uh, English breakfast tea that I got at Aldi because it's quite delicious. And I guess my favorite tea currently of, like, the slightly nicer varieties, I like all the Twinings teas. I tend to really enjoy the Irish breakfast tea is my favorite, 
then probably English breakfast tea and Earl Grey. And then I was enjoying drinking Prince of Wales, which is another Twinings tea. And I liked the Prince of Wales because it sounded all fancy, but it really, it didn't taste like it. But it was a lighter taste. And I was drinking green tea earlier this week because I was out of black tea um, on a shelf that I could reach. It was even that I was out. I couldn't reach it. And so I was drinking green tea because I could reach the green tea. Short people problems. Or it's just problems of when you store things like two feet from your ceiling and you're only 5'5". Five five. You're just, you're never going to get there. And sometimes standing on a chair and digging through a shelf just doesn't seem like a good solution. So you wait till a tall person can help you. Okay, I'm going to go work on my shawl. <laughs>